Every day, countless students and small business owners dive into the world of software development full of hope and ambition. But let's face it, this journey can quickly turn into a maze of confusion and frustration. I've been there, and I know the pain points all too well. First, let's talk about the planning phase. You start with a brilliant idea, but as you sketch it out, you realize you're drowning in requirements. What features do you really need? What's essential versus just nice to have? It's easy to get lost in the details. The solution? Prioritize your features using the Moscow method. Must have, should have, could have, and won't have. This framework helps you focus on what truly matters, keeping your project on track. Now, on to design. You've got your requirements sorted, but the design phase can feel like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. You want it to be user-friendly, visually appealing, and functional. But how do you balance all these elements? The answer lies in user feedback. Evolve potential users early on. Conduct surveys or focus groups. Their insights can guide your design choices, ensuring you're not just creating something that looks good, but something that works well for your audience. Then comes development, where the key real headaches often begin. Bugs, miscommunications, and scope creep can derail even the best laid plans. One common pitfall is the lack of clear communication among team members. To combat this, establish a robust communication plan. Use tools like Slack or Trello to keep everyone on the same page. Regular check-ins can help catch issues before they snowball into major problems. Testing is another critical phase that often gets overlooked. You might think your software is ready to launch, but skipping thorough testing can lead to disastrous outcomes. Remember, a bug found after launch can cost you time, money, and your reputation. Implement a testing strategy that includes unit tests, integration tests, and user acceptance testing. This way, you can catch issues early and ensure a smoother launch. Finally, let's talk about deployment. You've put in all this hard work, but the launch can be nerve-wracking. What if something goes wrong? To ease these fears, create a deployment checklist. This should include everything from server configurations to backup plans. And don't forget to monitor your software post-launch. Use analytics tools to track user engagement and performance. This data will help you make informed decisions for future updates. Navigating the software development lifecycle is no small feat. But by addressing these common pain points with clear strategies, you can turn challenges into opportunities. Embrace the process, learn from each step, and remember, every setback is just a setup for a comeback.